Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today we are building something a little bit different. I don't know if you noticed, but over on the community tab, I did basically get you involved into what I was gonna build next. And we came up, or you guys came up with a three bed, three bath Mediterranean house. And I was a little bit worried how this was going to turn out. I'm not the best at building anything to do with Mediterranean. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is what it turned out like. I'm actually really pleased with how it's turned out. And I'm really hoping that you like it as well. It did take me so long to build. So that is why this speed build is so long. So if you haven't already, please do go get a drink something to eat or something yeah to keep you hydrated um because this is a long one today it's 42 minutes so yeah um but yeah I really really love how it's turned out it as I said it's taken me so long to do um um I will put up the poll um pictures now just so you can see what the choices were so for the first one it was um what size house it was going to be and um, so it was um, an option between two three four or five or even six I think I put up and then it was um hang on let me get them up that'll probably be a bit better wouldn't it <laughs> if I actually had it already um so you choose my build so it was bedrooms um, and then we did family and um, what type of family was going to be in the house and you guys chose um, a, for a couple they were going to be young adults an elder and a toddler that one by 46 percent and um, the other options were a couple that were adults with a teen and child a single dad or child and uh, a couple with twin children and then a single mum, teen and toddler so as you can see um, overall the couple elder and toddler one and as I said, for the style of the house, um, Mediterranean one with 39%. The other options that there was was Craftsman, Colonial and Traditional. Uh, but again, Mediterranean had a massive overall um, like majority. And then uh, we were going to choose what world it was going to be built in because it was Mediterranean. I wanted it to be built in a different world, like not just Sunset Valley because it just wouldn't fit in. So I went for, well, I gave you the option of Monte Vista, Champs Les Sims, Shang Simla, Al Simhara and Starlight Shores. And as you can see, 73% was Monte Vista. So yeah, that was a major majority. Um, so yeah this is pretty much the overall shape of the house now so as you can see I did use CFE for the stairs and then I put the like what they call double doors in and yeah it looks so good once it's finished on the exterior and I also used this um, roofing which I don't normally use but obviously for a Mediterranean style I think it fits it quite nicely um, and I did have to use, I don't know if you've ever seen me use it before, is um, a debug enabler. Um, if you don't know how to use that, um, if you head over to Teddy's T-E-D-H-I YouTube channel, they have a whole tutorial on how to use it. And what I did is I raised up some, um, what they called, you'll see it shortly. Actually, it probably won't be shortly, but um, I do use... Um, the things that go over the windows, I can't think what they're called, not shutters, but um, like an awning kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I can't, I can't think, guys. <laughs> I can't think. Um, so yeah, I rec finished this the other day and I just want to voice it over and get you guys to have a look at it because I'm so excited to have how it's turned out and I just love it. I really, really, really do. Um, it's completely out of my comfort zone and it's actually been so nice doing something different because I'm always doing the same old thing and I think this just tests my creativity a little bit and makes me branch out of my comfort zone. So thank you guys for helping me with this. I'm actually going to make this a little bit more of a feature on my channel every now and again. Um, like in between doing renovations and building in um, uh, Emerald Valley, I'm going to do these kind of builds where you choose what I'm going to build. And I think 
that just means that you guys have something that you actually want um, and want to see from me because I know you guys want to see like Emerald Valley and Appaloosa Plains to be finished and everything and see me do them but I think this will just break it up a little bit obviously I have still got my what they called my base game plus series going on I haven't built the next house for the, that but um it's going to be coming shortly I might even do that next because it's going to be like a nice family house and yeah because this house doesn't use um doesn't isn't the if I could talk isn't limited to any pack or any stuff packs or anything like that so please do bear that in mind and um, I hope you guys don't mind me you like just putting up the like library files I don't know if you'd prefer me to do the sim files as well so if you would like me to do the sim files as well please do let me know in the comments down below and I can do that for you um but yeah so as you can see this house is coming along nicely it does look like it's going to be a four bed and it can be a four bedroom um completely can be a four bedroom but one of the bedrooms I've turned it into a um study so yeah so my thoughts with this family is that the mum is a stay-at-home mum she does lots of cooking and yeah she stays at home and she may be a little bit of a writer that's why she's got a nice study with a nice computer and then obviously the grandparents are there as well so they're like more of like a nanny so the mum can do all her writing and everything without too much disturbance um and then uh, the obviously toddler so she's obviously he or she is not doing too much i imagined it to be male the toddler so there the bedroom for the toddler is all space themed and yeah and then the obviously as i said the nanny i imagine it to be like the grandma or the nan or something like that and then the dad, I imagine to be like a businessman. I don't know if I'd necessarily call him a businessman, but definitely someone that's got money and because obviously he needs to be able to afford this house, let's be real, because if they were to mortgage this house in the real world, they would be bankrupt. <laughs> it's It would be rather expensive, especially where I've popped it. It is built on a 40 by 50 lot. Um, it's, I can't even think where it's built. It was built, I had to bulldoze, bulldoze a house. I do believe it's a house anyway. Could have been a community lot actually. Um, excuse me, so this house could be built. Um, if I remember, I probably won't actually. I was going to say I was going to put a screenshot in of where it's built. But it's a 45, 45, bleh, if I could talk. It's a 40 by 50. It was originally a 64 by 64 lot. But I um, made it a little bit smaller. I just think um, a 64 by 64 would have been a massive overkill. There's no need. We don't need that much like space. Um, so as you can see, I've popped a pool in in the back. There is also going to be um, like a vegetable patch. I just imagine if the mum does a lot of cooking and staying at home, I just imagine her to grow her own vegetables and... Um, if she was like because she's obviously in a Mediterranean world I imagine her to make her own wine but she doesn't have like a wine cellar or anywhere she can do that but I imagine her going somewhere and making her own wine or sending off her produce to make nectar if that makes sense so yeah I really like the what's it called the soil I use it's one from uh, world adventures it's a mixed mixed what's it called mixed dirt I think it's called and um, I really like the texture of it actually and like that it's not not too dark but it's not too light either so you got a little bit of a mixture hence the name mixture <laughs> um and yeah so over here where I'm now doing the pergola over thing is going to be where a hot tub goes um so yeah they're obviously in a hot climate they're going to want they're going to spend quite a bit of time outside there isn't anywhere for um, a toddler to play outside. I imagine it to be more of for the adults, um, for them to be able to be outside, throw some nice parties. Obviously, it's going to be a hot climate, so I doubt there will be 
much not much rain but um no snow or ice or anything like that um so yeah as you can see i've also popped in the fountain as well or that comes with island paradise i want to say i could be completely wrong um i think it is island paradise but yeah as you're going to see with my landscape and it's all going to be quite uniform i've popped in where the white fencing is i do change it and i change it off camera to a gray brick um, and i think it looks so much better well it's actually more like a gray cream color and um, i think it looks really really nice and also off camera i do change the exterior wall color um so the bit that's got like just above the front door where that window is i change it to the, the brick that is on the back uh fireplace bit at the minute pillar and um, there's no fireplace there currently but i will pop one in i think i do that right at the very end and then i change the color of the pool to a creamy brown color which you'll see me short do shortly or do it now even and i make it this let's see if i can bring it up it takes me a while to figure out what i wanted to do because i didn't there this is what i use i just really like it like it's different very very different to my normal style um and i just think it fits really nicely um and then i was trying to figure out i was gonna do a tile all the way around the house because obviously it's hot most places like in italy or spain i could be stereotyping here is going to be more of a tile and um, because obviously it's too hot you're not gonna have a carpet are you um and i do change it and i change it to a wood um i didn't really like how the tile was looking in the house so i do change that which I'll be doing in a moment. Um, sorry for the squeaky chair, I do apologise. <laughs> um, also, I want to mention, if I, as like a jump cut at any point, my son is asleep and um, he is due a feed and obviously this is quite a long voiceover, so I'm hoping he'll make it through without me needing to go down and feed him. So I do apologise if there's any jump cuts or anything like that. Um, also, I just want to say, I really do apologise, but the living room, which is the room I was just starting with, the recolouring, I, uh, for some reason, it didn't record, and I'm so annoyed, but I do do like a little spin round, so you're able to see what I do, um, but yeah, I, I do apologise, I couldn't be bothered to go back and re-record it, because it took me so long to do, but I did try to, um do this house a little bit different to my normal style because obviously it's mediterranean it's not going to be in a traditional style um but yeah so i was kind of running out of steam come the end of like i think it was before i went upstairs i was starting to like run out of steam so i do apologize if it's not the best upstairs but again you can change it to what you want anyway um again i need to apologize there's a lot of apologies in this i didn't do an unfurnished version um, because I completely forgot so feel free to download this and get rid of everything inside that's absolutely fine if you want to furnish it yourself and um, I completely understand <coughs> excuse me so as you can see I've added in that brick color stone color outside and then we're on into the stairs I do actually make the stairs a carpet I just thought it looked quite nice um so yeah i do also add it in a banister this one here and um, it was really annoying me because you could only add a banister on one side i don't know if that's because i've used cfe or anything like that <coughs> excuse me guys I'm losing my voice um and then the entrance is quite big and then i use the nectar racks to sort of create um just like sort of an enclosed bit if that makes sense and um, you'll see me do that in just a moment and then i use shelving to put things on top of it um, and i think it looks so good um so here we go adding them in now i do have to faff around for quite a while um figuring it out but yeah i really 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 love how it turns out it's very different to my normal what i'd normally do um and i wanted this build to be to be different um, so I really hope you like it. So as you can see, I'm now adding things on. I'm adding in this light here. I really like how it looks different. I keep saying different, but like, I can't even explain it. I hope you know what I mean, because I'm just going to yabber on. <laughs> 
Um, how are you all doing, guys? Seeing as this is a long voiceover, I'm going to be talking about the build for a good while. Um, just having a little check-in, see how you're all doing. How are you enjoying the summer heat? It is a scorcher over here in the UK. I went out yesterday with my family and we spent a day, I can't even explain, it's like an agricultural thing and my son is obsessed with anything agricultural and um, farm related and he absolutely loved it. Um, we saw lots of tractors, harvesters, and he was in his absolute element. And yeah, but today I am so worn out. Um, he's at nursery today, again, trying to burn off some energy. Um, but yeah, it was it's, it was a long day, let's just put it that way. And I, I wanted to come home and just play on Sims, but you know, sometimes you just can't. <laughs> um, so yeah. This hallway here is so big, I didn't really know where else to put in. So I put in a, I think I put in a bookcase. Again, I could be completely wrong. And I moved that archway to, right over to the left so I could put the kitchen in on the right. And um, I think that looks like the layout looks a little bit better by doing that. And then I use these um, side tables here. I do get rid of one of them and I put in, um, and I leave just one just because I wanted to move over that, um, I would just get rid of that door and put in a archway instead so it was like quite open um, and nice like just a little flow through and then so yeah that living room it's it does have a telly in that one and um, it does have another I want to it's not a living room but like um what's it called what do they call it whether you have like a two like sitting areas I don't know guys but there's a living area and then like a sitting area in front of a fireplace but there's no telly so yeah there's that um and I do change this the color of the walls in the living room to a green color I do believe um and then I make a feature wall in there as well and um, I really wanted to add in this what's it called video camera but it just wasn't working so I had to get rid of it I was very disappointed but is what it is so yeah this house also has I know I didn't ask it on the on the community post and I could have done but I took the executive decision to decide that this family would have two cats and a big dog and um, so there is everything that your family would need or the family would need for cats and dogs in this house um I just thought it was like perfect for this house and this family I don't know if I'd imagine that there was the grandparent the like nanny the cats are hers and then the dog is the like the couple and the child if that makes sense um <clears throat> but again that is completely up to you and how you play with this um so yeah now on into the kitchen as I do include right at the very end I'd completely forgotten about it but the baker's station is it the baker's station I put it right on the very end um and I really 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 like how that looks and um, the colors in here are again are green and white um but yeah I think I do do I do the kitchen next I think I do the kitchen next um, and then there is an island in the middle that is a slightly different colour from um, the rest of the counters. I really like doing an island that is a different colour from the rest of the counters. I think it makes it a really nice like centrepiece. Um, and I think a lot of like, if you went on Pinterest, a lot of kitchens look like that. And yeah, I take a lot of my, if you ever wonder where my inspiration comes from, most of my inspiration comes from Pinterest. Um, and I know a lot of builders will tell you that. Um, but yeah. So, and also, bleh, if I could talk, <laughs> colour palettes. If you're ever struggling with what colour goes with another colour, I really, really beg you, go onto Pinterest. You don't have to make an account, I don't think. Maybe you do. I don't know. But they have really good colour palettes on there. And so, basically, on, like, the colour wheel, if you want a blue and you want something to complement blue, you need to go for orange because it is the opposite side of the colour wheel and they're complementary colours. There's a top tip for you there, guys. <laughs> Plum Bob top tips. Um, also... 
I'm really, really hoping that I can do a live stream soon. Um, I don't know when this is going to come out um, because I'm really pre-recorded, like really pre-recorded. I don't know if um, I could move some other things and put this one in first before the other stuff that I've pre-recorded. Um, I might have to look at doing that because I really want to live stream all your builds that you did for the shell and build challenge because I know it's been a while guys and I'm really sorry but obviously I had my son so my family came first um but yeah I really want to live stream and I also want to finish decorating my build with me house because I've done the downstairs I just haven't done the upstairs um, I don't know if you guys would want me to do a live stream of that or I could do a video of me finishing it. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Sorry, I thought I heard my son crying, so I just went silent. I do apologise. So as you can see, I've popped in two food bowls because obviously there's going to be three animals, so I imagine them going through it quite quickly and yeah so where that um what's it called coffee machine there we go coffee machine is at the moment um that is where the like baker station goes and then all that stuff goes the opposite side of the fridge um and i think that looks quite nice so as you can see here's the jump cut i'm so sorry you can't see me um place everything but this is what it looks like um i do go back and i change the um two seater because i did change it to this orange but it looks so much like the original um that isn't recolored and it was really bothering me like i don't know why it bothered me so much but it was so uh, yeah and then over here i put in this here and i make it like a window seat and i think it looks really nice with the bookcases as well with a nice big table and then i make the table have like a marble top and um, you'll see me do that shortly and i really really like how it turns out and um, so as the colors are in here similar to the living room i make it an orange and green and yeah, I think it looks so, so nice. I do originally go for a wood on this dining table, um, but I do change that. Um, I don't know when I do that. I think that's like one of the last things I do in here. But again, I could be, oh no, I don't. I do it now. There we go. I go for this color here and I really, really like how it looks. And then the, excuse me, hang on. Excuse me, I've just had like a pop, so I do apologize. <laughs> um, what's it called um i do change the this hair chair um to like quite a light creamy orangey what would you call that like a yellowy cream um and i think it looks really nice and then on the windows the i use the generation curtains and i love how it looks and then into the future um rug i use quite a lot of into future rugs in here just because you can like do the shape that you want um rather than just relying on like what's it called relying on the other rugs if that makes sense um so i don't know if you just saw but i um like put in that toy octopus thing and i put it actually into the what's it called like the window seat what would you even call that is it a window seat i don't know but yeah i merged it into there and what i'm going to do off camera is i use the debug enabler and i raise it up so it's actually like sat on top um just because i think it looks a lot nicer and then here we go with the fireplace and i love this fireplace so much i just i think it's quite art deco um, and i don't do much art deco at all but i really like how it looks and i wanted to use the like the texture from the exterior inside but it just didn't work because it didn't have a border on it and yeah i wanted to use the diesel stuff um what's it called sofa but it just looked really odd because it doesn't have a two-seater and that really bothers me and i don't want to use any cc or store content because i do know they do a like a mod version of it and like a cc version even but it just i didn't like it so yeah and then i pop in a stereo and then i put in a i think i put a, like a the glass cabinet in the corner again yeah i put this here 
and then I put in mirror I do believe or did I put a picture honestly I did this the other day and I've already forgotten like I don't understand why my brain is such a sieve I really don't um I do move this cat scratching post thing into the hallway here um oh yeah I put a mirror on that's what I do and then I put a little side table I remember now guys <laughs> I don't know why my brain is such a sieve I really don't like you could tell me something in real life and 10 minutes later I will have forgotten I swear I'm like Dory off um, Finding Nemo because oh, I I love that film I don't know if anyone else really likes that film but even now as a 28 year old I would happily watch Finding Nemo even Finding Dory although I don't think I've even watched Finding Dory or if I have again I've forgotten um so yeah I'm quite happy to watch these like baby fil baby, baby films with my son, like Cars. I really love Cars, all of them. I love Mater. Mater makes me laugh so much, um, just because he just reminds me of me, <laughs> like proper Dippy. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if anyone else likes really baby films. They're not really baby films, are they? But I don't know about anyone else. But I cannot. I don't know why you might even be like I'm gonna unsubscribe now but I can't watch Toy Story because it scares me and you might be laughing now but literally I just imagine like imagine if that happened in real life that like your toys moved around and stuff that that would freak me out guys <laughs> like I used to remember as a kid I used to put my toys in certain positions like not positions but like one sat up one's like leaning and in the morning I'd go check that it hasn't moved <laughs> I don't know I don't know if anyone else did that but I was a weird kid guys <laughs> but yeah so I've already rambled on into the, the laundry room so the laundry room here is kind of like a walkway into the garage as well um in the garage um there's not too much in there it's quite a bit of clutter and I put in a pull-up bar and what they called where you can pump the iron what is that called like weight trainer thing and then in here is just one of the main bathrooms that anyone like the guests could use um because the main bedroom which is behind this has its own ensuite um so yeah excuse me my nose is running i don't know why and yeah so it's a full bathroom so if your sims need to have a bath downstairs they can um, I do use the by debug so I'm able to put um, the bubble bath on the side in the main bedroom not the main not in the main bedroom but in the main bathroom no 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 sorry in the ensuite yeah um, and yeah so in here it's a green and like a corally sort of color and I love the color like this corally pinky color um, I don't think it's a salmon, but it might be like a salmony colour. Honestly, I don't even know what salmon would be classed as because I just think it's pink. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I think it's like a corally colour. And yeah, so this is the ensuite bathroom. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, I do include um, hampers in all the bathrooms, I do believe. I could be wrong, um, or at least I try to. Um, but if you have the hamper that, like, you only need one hamper, if that makes sense, um, I would advise you just to put that in the laundry room, just so it's a bit easier for your sims to get to, and then delete all the others, and then just put a plant in where that was, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I would do anyway. Um, I should actually download that, but I don't know why I don't, but because it just takes your, I don't know if anyone else, but it takes your sims so long, so, so long to go around a whole house, especially a house that's really big, um, to pick up all the laundry. Uh, yeah. And then here, uh, I'm going to do like a little walk-in closet. So I don't know if you actually know, but these shoe racks actually go on. They actually slot on to a shelf. And I didn't know that until I did this. And then I even put like a little carpet down. because I imagine if your Sims have come out of the shower, they might be a little bit cold and they're not going to want to stand onto wood flooring. Um, I just really liked it. And then there's a whole wall of mirrors for your Sims to get changed at. And yeah, so I just had to rearrange some stuff here because I needed to put a hamper in and I'd forgotten about it. So this is the point that I remember that we've got the 
this oven here. I was going to put it here and I didn't like how it looked. Um, so I do switch that over, which I'm going to do in just a moment. So yeah, this is like the end product and I really like how it looks. And then we're going on back into the master area. This is going to be where the, like the young adult couple will sleep. And yeah, it's quite like a large room and I didn't really know what to do with it, but um i think it turns out okay in the end i mean it's not the best i do apologize it's not my best work this room um i wanted to put in those mirrors that like surround like the whole you'll see it like this but like using those mirrors the big ones but it just wasn't working and it was really irritating me so i just put one in excuse me um and yeah i can't even really remember oh yeah i put um a fireplace in here and then I put it outside so this house has one two I'm trying to think three fireplaces is it three, three fireplaces yeah I think it's three fireplaces this house has um and like I know it's for like I think it's weird because Mediterranean houses always have well in my head they always have fireplaces which is odd because they're normally in a like a really warm climate um, so you wouldn't really need a fireplace, would you? Like, you wouldn't want to warm your room up because you're going to be boiling anyway. I don't know. That's my thinking anyway. Um, and I just popped a couple of chairs just like sort of surrounding it so they could sit there and enjoy. And then I put a little pet bed in as well. I just imagine like the cat to come in here and to sleep because it's right near the fire. And obviously I make it a green so it fits with the rest of the house. And then the side tables. I really like these side tables. And I don't know why because it's not like, they're just like solid structures. But I really like it. And I made them into like this marble. And I thought it went quite nicely. And obviously there's a bookcase in here because I put a bookcase in every single corner. <laughs> just because it fills up some space. But there's lots of bookcases in this house, but they're all different. And I don't know if you know, but each bookcase holds different um, books. And yeah, and I think it's quite cool. So I changed the side in, not the side in, but the wall colouring in here to this colour here. I just thought it looked quite nice and it was a bit different um, from the rest of the house. And it was a little bit warmer because the rest of the house is quite cold because I imagine the house to be quite warm and you'd, you want to be able to be in a house that's cooler because outside's going to be hot i'm just rambling now guys i don't really know what i'm saying um i don't know just ignore me i would <laughs> um i also include a buggy um or a pram whatever you want to call it um because obviously the toddler there is a toddler in the house and they're going to want to be able to go for little walks i don't normally include them and i don't know why i don't but yeah i've included it in this house um and i've also included what i'd class as like an air con unit we don't have them in the uk so i don't actually know what it is but i'm going to say it's an air con unit um i was going to put a treadmill in but i didn't want to i popped in a pull-up bar because i don't normally and i love how it looks and yeah just recoloring everything in here just a lot of clutter I don't know why we can't recolor. I was then going to point at it, but that like spanner set because I really wanted to make it black and it wouldn't let me. So I was annoyed, but yeah. So here with the space theme, you'll see it just in a moment. Um, so here we go. Just a nice little space themed pram um, that your Sims can use. And then we head on outside before we head upstairs. So I don't know if you've already seen it, but there is the like little, what's it called? garden area i've made it quite uniform in most of my houses i don't make it uniform and it's just sort of everywhere but in here they're all sort of in lines and i really like how it looks um i was going to make it into like an um like an l-shaped seat here but i didn't really really i don't know why i really didn't like it so i went back for these chairs here and i think that looks much better actually there might be four fireplaces including this one. Oh my why did I not think about this one? I don't know. But yeah, um, so this is what it looks like out here. And then with the plant pot, I make it marble. And then the rugs I make into a wicker that I think is quite nice. And then I make a little, what's it called? Barbecuing area um, and a little seating area. The seating area does sit um, fit eight Sims, I want to say. 
Um, so plenty of places for your sims to sit. Um, the one thing I didn't do, and I don't know why I didn't, was lighting outside. I might have to go back and do that. Um, if not, feel free to add in exterior lighting. I think I forgot because I was ready to be done with this build. Um, I just went back and added in some recycling. And yeah, now going in to recolour the barbecue and area and the side bits. Excuse me. And I make these chairs like a nautical. I really like it. I don't know why I've never done that before. I just imagine... I don't know why, I imagine it to be like a seaside and kind of thing. Um, and then I just changed these to a blue. They were blue already, but I just changed them to a different blue. Um, and then I did put originally some like lounge chairs next to it, but I do move them to the other side and I move the table over a little bit. Um, and then I pop in a, what's that called? Like a sun, what's that called? Like a sun umbrella thing. Um, I do originally put it over the um, table, um, I think I put it over the table anyway, just to see how it looked and I didn't like it so it stays over the lounge chairs, here we go, just changed that two seater because I didn't like it, I don't know why I didn't like it, I just, just you know like when you put something in your game, I can't have the colour that it is already. I have to change it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I have to change it. So, yeah. Um, I just have them in a little seating area. And it takes me a while because I wanted it as close to the wall as possible. And then I just had a little light in. I don't want to, with the, like, walkways, I don't like obstructing them too much because I know Sims have a difficult time anyway navigating houses or community lots anyway. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure it was relatively functioning um so each room has its own closet um i know they're not functional um i just a little bit of decoration um so yeah i really 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 love how this turns out i really do hope you like it as well um it did take me quite a while as i've said and yeah if you do use this build for your sims to like play in i'd love to see so please 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 do um join us over on discord or even on tumblr send me some pictures i would really really love to see um i love seeing if your sims are using any of my builds um it just makes me feel so happy that your sims are actually using it and it's not just me making a build and it never gets used um it kind of makes me more motivated to do more builds i am thinking of doing just like because i find it a lot quicker that i can get some more builds out um but it's just going to be the exterior and then you guys can do the interior i would just lay out the kitchen and the bathrooms like very very minimally um like what it would look like if you move in um like if you'd move in in real life that's all you'd have and then you guys can then furnish the rest and then hopefully I'd be able to get a build out on another day like on a Monday or something um I can't guarantee it but that's my plan um I don't know maybe I've already started doing it by the time this build comes out um but yeah that's my plan anyway I know I've got lots and lots of plans for this channel and I'm probably gonna overwhelm myself but sometimes I find that I just need to build for no real purpose um and because obviously the renovation that's going to be for my save file Emerald Valley for obvious reasons that's my world and then I've got my base game plus series that is for limited packs and then these other builds could just be just because I want to build and yeah so again let me know what you think who knows I might as I said who knows I might have already started um so yeah I've just sort of rambled through the toddler's room so as you can see it was space themed there is no single bed in there so you will need to add one um as the baby grows up um if you decide to download this um, and use it as it is intended which is the couple with the elder and the toddler I'd love to see if you've created a family for it or even if you just want to create a family anyway please do create a family for this and I'd love to see pictures of them um just a little idea I'd love to see 
Um, but we are now coming up to the end, roughly. I think we've got... Oh, what is the time? Oh, where are we up to? We are now about two minutes out, three minutes out. Um, so please do like if you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, comment what you think. Um, as I said, lots of different things in here for you to comment about and subscribe if you haven't already um, it really does mean a lot and obviously i've got lots planned for this channel and it's not stopping anytime soon so yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you with some music and please do check out all my other videos on my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.